I am just south of Yellowstone National Park this morning and uh, I am at Huckleberry Hot Springs and Pole Cat Hot Springs. You can see they're both just right here near each other. And so it's cold morning, car set is about 18 degrees. So hopefully it's uh, not too cold getting there, but um, the poles are supposed to be really warm. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna go check it out and see how it is. So I'm here with Haley and Zoe. We're also gonna be going up through Yellowstone Park uh, later. So uh, check out those videos too. All right, so you have to cross the river here to get, uh, get over to the hot springs. Um, it's pretty cold out today, so we're not wanting to take Zoe across. So these guys are gonna head back towards the car. I'm gonna go check it out real quick though. Let's go do it. I got this view from the hot springs. This is Super nice. All right, so that was Polcat Hot Springs. And that was really nice. It was uh, nice and warm in there. Perfect temperature. Um, I'm actually gonna go check out Huckleberry Hot Springs, which is just a ways away. All right, so here is the pool. And it's definitely warm, I just felt it. But I'm gonna keep looking for a minute, see, cause I know there's a couple pools over here. So I'm gonna see if I can find a, a different one. It, it might be up the river a little bit more. All right, here's pool number two. And from what the man in the other hot streams was telling me, this is the main one. You can tell it's got this uh, metal ring in it. So I'm guessing it gets hotter and maybe if you go up that way. I'm gonna try out this one though, since I'm already here. That is a little bit warmer than that last one we were in. That feels good though. That feels real good. Check out all the steam coming from this river all the way up. I'm guessing there's probably another pull up that way since there's a trail going that way. But due to lack of time, I'm just gonna enjoy this one while I can. This uh, metal ring right here in the middle kind of makes for a good seat. Yeah, it's really comfy here. And it's awesome. You can see there's still frost on the top of these white weeds over here in the grass. But then it goes all the way down to dead and then green at the bottom right against the hot springs. back across the river. This one, unlike the one I was sitting in, is not warm. So, uh, yeah. That first stop, first place up that way where I crossed on the way in was a little more shallow. Probably a little bit better of a spot for us. That wasn't bad, that was below my knees, so. All right, so because I'm a little short on time today, I'm headed back out. Uh, I didn't get to look for too long, but it was just a few minutes, it was even great. So that was really cool. Uh, both hot springs were cool. I'd definitely check out both of them if you're here. I think a little bit better views from the uh, Polecat hot springs. You can kind of see it down, uh, kind of that open area. We actually got a full day pond today going up to Yellowstone. So check out those videos. We're gonna be doing tons of cool stuff there. But yeah, this is definitely a cool spot. Uh, worth checking out, especially if you're already camping in this area anyway. So, all right, bye.